Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Kylie, I'm so happy that you are here. Today's video I spent so many hours on because, as you can read from the title, it is a DIY record player stand. <laughs> my mom picked it up on the curb for free, so this was literally zero cost to me because we had all the paints, everything that I needed already at home. It's absolutely amazing. With all that being said, let's get right into the DIY record stand. All right, so here's the stand before I've done anything to it. This is straight off the curb. You can see the top is kind of a little distressed. And these are the insides, very dark. Uh, here are the supplies you'll need. I have sandpaper and pretty much the rest is just paint and paint brushes. I have all these different colors. And so let's get into sanding. I'll just take a little bit of this sandpaper here and I'm going to get every single surface of this record player stand. I start with the top. There's a bunch of grooves in the legs of the record player stand so I had to get all those as well. And here I am doing the doors and I'm literally just sanding down every single surface just to make sure that everything is smooth. I, did, I wanted the paint to stick in a very smooth and clean way. When you're sanding anything wood, you want to make sure that you just go with the grain of the wood so as to not scratch it. And here I am taking a wet washcloth and wiping down all of the dust off of from where I sanded. And I'm going to go over it a couple times just because one wipe down with the rag wasn't good enough. And now here are my brushes that I'm using. I have two two inch brushes and that's my white and black paint. And now I'm going with the white. The white is going to be all around the outsides. Um, I think I had to do about three coats of this just to make it as clean as possible. The first two coats I went in and did all with the brush. And then the last coat I did with a roller to make it even more even. It was kind of hard to get into those handle spots but it worked out. And you can see just how much this one coat of paint has really lightened up this project. And then I did the inside with the black. So this is what that looks like after all the coats are dry. Now we are doing the best part, the decoration. So I drew a stencil here. I'm not just free handing this, but I wanted to do little tiny uh, vinyl records all on the doors here. It took me a while to realize what I wanted to do, but I thought this was really cool since this is going to be my record stand after all. So this is just the one that I'm doing as kind of a little template to see if I liked the idea and what it would look like. So I'm just doing this one first. I'm going with the black and now doing the red in the middle to see what it would look like before I did all of the rest of the records on the doors. I've done the middle of the records already and now I'm just going around with the black to kind of finish them off. Um, I had to do two coats for about everything so I had to wait for them to dry and then come back in. But I did outline with a sharpie before I did the black and I wanted this to look handmade which is a different look from if I would have just printed out stencils and done that. Um, I think that this looks handmade, which is what I wanted. I think the hardest part about this was keeping the middle parts of the circles um, complete circles, but uh, we made it work. Now I'm going around the legs with this tiny brush and some green paint and I am making little vines to go all around the legs. Um, I added this idea because the theme for my room is going to be 
green and plants and vines and I really wanted this to fit in with um, that vibe pretty much so I drew the vines on first and I did kind of connect them into the doors here a little bit as you can see and then after I drew the actual vine part I went in and I put leaves all through the legs um, this was really simple it only needed one coat which I'm really grateful for because I did not want to go all the way back through what I had done just to do another coat that would not have been fun um, but now here I am adding the leaves onto the doors and I just went around and I did this on all the legs I really like how it turned out I think it looked I think it added a lot to the piece um, and I even connected the two legs on the front um, with this little groove piece that you see me doing here just with the tiny like an even smaller brush than I was doing before and I think it added a lot it tied it all together and made it look cohesive so here I am adding the vines to that a little close-up action for you guys Here's what we have so far for the front. All the records are done and the leaves are done throughout the piece. This is the last step that I did. I thought that I needed just a little bit more. Um, the sides were looking a little bare so I made on both sides of the piece I made two big records. This album I did Purple Rain by Prince because it is one of my favorite records of all time. I can listen to it all the way through. I know all the songs. I know the order of the songs. And it's one of my first records that I got. And so it's really dear to my heart. And so I thought that that deserved a big spot on the side. But now I'm filling in the rest of the record after I've done the fonts. And then the other record that I did on the other side was Pink Floyd's The Wall, one of my favorite albums of all time. Same thing, I can listen to it all the way through, I know all the songs. And it is also, I think, one of the first vinyls that I got if I think about it now. So I thought that both of these records would be really fun to put on the sides because they mean so much to me. What you see is me duplicating the fonts from pictures and drawing them freehand um, as best as I could and I think I duplicated the fonts pretty well if you ask me I think they look pretty similar and this was like the most tedious part of the whole project because I had to go around all of the little words with the tiny brush and it took a little while but I think once we get to the final results it's gonna be really worth it and speaking of, here they are. Thank you guys so so much for watching this video if you made it all the way to this point congratulations thank you for staying all the way to the end of my video i appreciate it i hope you guys really like this diy like i said it was so fun making it and i hope that you guys are inspired to deal diy your own stuff as well i know that it can seem like a really daunting task but when you literally pick something up on the curb for free that's in really good condition for how I found it and then turn it into something that's completely useful, it's really worth it. It's just a little bit of extra time. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe if you are new. I make videos whenever I feel like it, to be honest. So <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.